covered in waffle fur now. She's covered in fur. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like having a cat. Say goodbye to all your black attire being pretty. It's like wearing a cat on your chest. At least, at least uh, dogs aren't that bad. At least, uh, not currently, but yeah. Rolling back around to Una's Honest Themes. Ethan gave Mark a spa day where he essentially ran a fake salon and put fake nails on Mark. And Mark contemplates what actions has essentially brought them to that point in time in life. Contemplations. Cool, okay. Way to go. So essentially I took away from that the idea of contemplations about life. So I ask you, viewer, what has brought you to this moment in your life? Specifically, this moment. So in theory, you could come back and watch this video at a later point in time and perhaps have a changed answer and or an answer that needs to be built upon from prior viewing. Looking back on your life thus far, it's easy for us to discredit our own experiences and journey in life. I think it's really easily socially for us. And like I said, probably even arguably encouraged to some degree to essentially give us a slight kick in the pants to keep going and or striving or getting to another fresh threshold or level of success on some in some way. I think accomplishment and success is very subjective to the viewer, obviously, especially if social norms are involved in that equation. But essentially what I'm asking you to do is to sit down and list out your accomplishments, what you think you've accomplished. And be wary of your thoughts when you do this in the sense of, are they accomplishments dictated by society or are they accomplishments that you are actually proud of? Or are they experiences that you think are very individual as in maybe you are a very small percentage of the population that experience them and by default you gain some kind of accomplishment out of that even though you think well tons of other people have gone through it it's the same right nah, it's not the same your experience is uniquely your own still regardless of you experiencing something very similar to what others have you still have your own unique set of eyeballs and and lens with which you viewed that experience. So I'm asking you to kind of think outside of the box. This exercise is essentially to get you to think out of your normal frame of thought as well as give yourself a degree of boost in what you have accomplished and to really get you to take a step back and look at your life as a whole and think, oh, you know, that really was cool that I did that. Or, you know, now that I look back on it, it, it sucked, but I did it and I'm better for it. And I probably wouldn't do it again, but I did it. And not many people do that. You know, kind of that train of thought. I definitely encourage that. You don't have to show this to anybody. You don't have to share this. This is more of a thought exercise, really. It's for your own personal view on your life and reframing to a certain degree and to be proud of your accomplishments because there is nothing wrong with being proud of what you have done just as long as you're not an ass about it <laughs> for my list i did a lot of grouping and clumping themes together an example would be my art journey and that includes the consumption of others art my involvement in group building art as well as my own personal individualized journey with art and expression as a whole and consuming all types of art. And when I mean all, I include books, I include media, movies, writing that could extend to costuming, that could extend to small projects that I thought would actually not really amount to anything but was kind of like a random fun challenge that you thought would amount to nothing, but that apparently a bunch of people really thought was cool? And you're like, how? It's cardboard and toilet paper. That's all it is. And they're like, oh my gosh. So, yeah. Weird, interesting things like that. I also included pets. I mean, cause, cause that is a very arguably full life experience. Pets in themselves. If you 
had a pet or know the experience of having a pet. Or at least if you're a pet owner, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I also included a lot of my bucket list items, things that I have done, things that I kind of will, will are feasible, can do, that I know I actually can accomplish in my life. Certain jobs and job experiences that have brought me to a degree of joy and realization, expression, exploration, journey, a whole hell of a lot of journey. Physical and mental challenges also made it on the list, especially I would argue that physical challenges that you opted into, specifically, that you, that you wanted to do. And I know a lot of people at some point in their life kind of go for that theme. They want that challenge, so they go out and they seek marathons, or they do the, like, a 5K or Ironman obstacle course. So, I mean, whatever you subscribe to, throw it down there, if you are proud of it. I don't think I'll ever do marathons. I'm, I'm so done with that. <laughs> Experiences that you thought were unique, novel, or brought you a certain degree of emotional accomplishment or realization that has pushed you in a positive, di positive direction in your life thus far. I would definitely include those. That can be arguably influenced from your parents. Being able to have a loving family. I'd say that is something that we might gloss over a lot, thinking that it's very common when everyone's individual experience is different. Not everybody has a, a loving, cohesive family. So I hope that by writing, the act of writing everything down in a list and seeing it there on paper, or actually sitting down and really thinking about it and taking it apart in your head and pulling back your lens to see the entirety of your life as opposed to just what you think your accomplishments are and what you kind of feel your accomplishments are. That, that might be a really fun exercise for you to do and hopefully you give it a shot. Might shed some light and perspective on a few things in your life. Uh, perspective was another thing that I put on here, was my growing and evolving perspective on life and essentially outlook and view of self and others. Remember to keep your outlook very wide when you create this list. You never know what's going to throw down on the paper. And happy list creation. Have a good one.